Hello guys. Um, first of all, I just want to say thank you so much for all the love on my first card tutorial. I love reading all your comments and all the likes and stuff. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, so in this card tutorial, I'm specifically going to teach you how to make your card look like an Instagram. Um, I was scrolling through Twitter and I saw like a lot of people confused and frustrated as to how to do this because it is a bit confusing. Um, but I promise it's really not that hard. Uh, I'll try to walk you through it as best as I can. Um, there's two different ways to do this. Um, some people screenshot their Instagram and stuff like that, but I'm gonna just show you the way I did it here. So let's get started. Wait, really quickly, look at the Shawal energy on this tweet that I tweeted. Oh my god, look at those likes and retweets. Happy 10 year anniversary, Shiny. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so the theme we're using for this card, or the template we're using for this tutorial is the Jane Anderson template. And basically, you just wanna delete everything and start with a blank card. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the image for your profile picture, and you're gonna to wanna to add a text oops, text box on, well, several text text boxes on this side. <laughs> All right, and once you get your picture in, you're gonna go to appearance and you're gonna make it into a circle and kind of just play around with the sizing of it to make it, oopsies. So that it looks like, you know, a circle and not an oval. Alrighty, and this first text box is going to be I cannot say that text box is gonna be um your ur url in or no your yeah your at your instagram at so we're gonna go to mess letters as usual and i'm just making mine the same as my twitter handle just for consistency purposes and i'm gonna use that font and put it right there and then this is going to be where your like follower count post count goes so so that it makes sense we're gonna do six posts because you're only gonna have six posts yeah i think that's the one i use six and then i'm gonna use nct numbers for the other ones Sorry, wait, I actually messed up. So the number um, the number font isn't correct. This is the number font that I was using before. They look kind of similar. It's just that if you can see like the other one is slightly serifed and it doesn't look like how, because Instagram font is pretty rounded. Um, also, I messed up the order. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it goes followers, then following. Now, next, you're going to go ahead and do your bio. I'm pretty sure for this one, I just, yeah, that's a fine spacing. And actually, I think I'm going to play around with the spacing on this. Um, if you want, if the letters look too crushed together for you, you can use the letter spacing here to make it a little longer. I think that just looks better. Alrighty, and now for the Instagram, like the pictures part. So to do the pictures, you're going to make another container. So container is just this and, oh shoot, okay. Hold on, how did I do this before? I think I made it. Oh wait, 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 hold on, okay. So when you hit container, you're gonna wanna go to type and then make it default so that it's just one and it's not columns. And then inside the container, you're going to put a gallery and you're going to add six pictures to it or however many you want, really. Wait, I can't count. How many was that? One, two, three. Okay. And.
and then with the sizing yeah sizing make just you can put as many as you want just it has to be three rows because that's how instagram does their thing all right and then you add your pictures and a little tip for the pictures obviously make sure they're all square if you find a picture that you like but it isn't square um i just use pixlr Pix pixlr express to uh edit and crop photos um it's free really easy and um make sure they're all around the same size like they don't have to be all like 500 by 500 just make sure it's like around the same so that you because if it's not then you're gonna get a grid that's like really disoriented looking and then from there you're gonna put all of your controls and stuff in if any of this is confusing to you um i explained this in detail in my first tutorial and i'll have that linked in like the description like it'll be the first link it'll be right there so if that's if any of this is confusing or if you you're lost um just go to that tutorial and basically to well how i'm gonna do this basically is well actually wait hold on i'm gonna put a new container in each um in each page and uh, make sure it's columns and put an image on one side and make it oops rectangle position it cent that is not centered Hold on. <laughs> all you have to do to get this image to be like centered like this is to play around with the width and height until it looks like how you like it and um, I just copy and paste this from how I had it in my card originally and for me I'm going to hold why aren't you working oh duh there we go right align it and then I'm gonna make it bigger and to get the uh the font um centered like I have it you basically just go to the click on the whole container like that and go to contents and align them center and make sure this says center and it should be centered and just kind of play around with the line spacing and letter spacing just until it looks right to you and then we're gonna go ahead and do the containers and the control tabs for each um, for each picture. And so that's basically it. This is what you should have. You should have something like this when you're done. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. Obviously, you can do whatever you want with it. Just it should kind of look like this. And so now we're going to publish. And this is the final look. Okay, thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, please uh, check out my other card tutorial if anything in here was confusing. I know I didn't explain everything as I was doing it because I've already s explained it in a previous video. Um, please subscribe if you want to. I'm going to be putting out videos every weekend because it's summer now. All right, thank you guys. Take care. Bye.